Hi all, today I'm going to show you how to build this fully automatic rubber band submachine gun. But first I'm going to show you how it works. So you take the bolt handle, slide it forward while depressing the trigger. Then you take your number 19 rubber band. You can use ones that are a little bit longer if you want, but I find these ones work the best. These are not the right rubber bands. Take the first one over the top, pull it back. You take the first one, put it over the top, pull it back, and roll back the magazine. Take your second one over the top, onto your magazine, roll it back. Three, four, five. Oh, this one's hard to put on. I've had up to 12 on here, but I'm going to try just doing eight just to show you how it works. Take it over the top again. Put it on this catch and then slide it back until you hear it click. There, now the trigger is set. It is now ready to go. So we're going to try to do a couple of bursts here. And there you go. I've tried to keep it to as few non 3D parts as possible. The only one that's maybe a bit hard to source is the 5mm spring because there was no way I could find to get the trigger reset to work properly without it. Straight off the printer, the parts actually look like this because of the support material. So I've given them a quick sanding. This has been no more than 20 minutes for the whole thing. I'll actually clean it up a little better before I paint it. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually drill these out for the M3 screws. So I'm just gonna use a little hand drill for this. I like this little quick hand drills because they don't really damage the parts and they do a really good job. So I'm going to take this. This is a 3.2 millimeter. Open that up. Do I want three or 3.2 for this? I'm actually going to start with three and then see if they slide in nicely. My Prusa actually prints these at just about the right size, but my CR10 has a bit of a different extrusion on it, so it tends to make these a bit tight. I've sized them exactly right on the 3D model, assuming that everybody's printer would be a little different, but I really haven't seen any printers that actually make them larger than the model. It's usually, if it's gonna be wrong, it's gonna default to being too tight. You know what? I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. <sighs> Thought it'd be cooler to use the hand drill, but we're just going to use the power drill. Yeah, that's the ticket. I think that's the last of them. So you can see a couple bits that need to be cleaned up here. Just going to take my little screwdriver. That out. There. Looks good. Now let's see if they actually fit. Perfect. All right. Now the next thing I'm going to do is sort of optional. I actually really like to thread the holes first. You don't have to. And uh, where's my little hand drill? There it is. This is something the hand drill is good for. You don't have to do this. It should just go straight in. But I find having them threaded beforehand just makes them a little bit smoother. Okay, that was a dumb one. Ha ha! I have a feeling there's going to be a price to pay if I do that. <laughs> All right, so... Parts should be prepped. We have the holes all sized. On this one, we got everything tapped. So the next thing we got to do is cut the rod to size. So we're going to do this with this little sizer here. Let's go over to the cutting jig. So I'm going to clamp this in place. Insert the rod as far as it'll go. And then I've got to brace that up. And 
cut a bunch of these. Nope, I gotta do that right between the handle there. All right, there's one. Let me grab a little magnet here and pull it out. And four. Okay, let's head over to the grinder. Oh, I'm gonna need those pliers again. Boop. First thing we're going to do is grab this and we are going to screw it into here. This is actually a little rubber band holder. Hold the catch in place and the catch is the first piece I'm going to put in, which goes right here. That is perfect. Actually, Pins are a little on the short side because I think I drilled in a bit. That one should be fine. There we go. It was nice and smooth. Then we're going to get the release, put it up here. The magazine. See, there is. There we go. So the magazine has an improvement on it, and that is it now only has two pieces instead of three. I'm going to run a bar through that. This uh, makes it easier to print and easier to put together. So next we're going to get one of these little rubber bands and I'm going to slip it over that and then over the screw there. I'm going to hold that in place. Next I'm going to get this piece here. Slide that in. This one always gives me trouble when I put it together. This is where that little screw comes in handy. It goes right here and it holds that piece in. Then I'm going to get the trigger, which goes underneath there. Run it in. And there it goes, shoots out again. I should really put like some kind of little peg in there or something just to keep it in place. Alright, perfect. Hold that there. Next, grab these. So we're gonna take pin number five, put it in here, and then in the last hole, and that bops up against that. So for this little piece, I'm gonna put the M3 bit back on. There. Now I should be able to put the longer screw through it, and then directly into here. Now this piece, what is the orientation? It is like that because the charging handle comes out that way and that's the groove for the uh, bolt catch. Then I'm going to orient this like here, flip it over, and then remember I drilled this one but not this one because this should just catch nicely on there. Back it up. Yep. Now these pieces, oh, that's a little stiff. I'm going to back that up. There you go. These pieces move nicely together and do not come apart usually. I'm going to slide that one down onto there. I'm going to lift that up, push it down, and then put the bolt into the track. Get the lift the bolt catch up. That gets a little hairy, slide it back, and that should all catch nicely. Now I'm going to get that last rubber band, put it around here, then around here, just push that down a little bit, in place. And the 
very last part, I take the take this, thread it through through there. Going to cut that flush. That can just stay there. If it does start falling out, a drop of glue is all you need. And that is the mechanism assembly all done and ready to go. Now is the fun part. When we try to line up all five pins on this side, every time. All five pins on this side with this part here. So, I'm going to very gently wiggle it around. Play the will it go in game. Nah. Often using a little screwdriver. Nope. Using a very long one of these long Q tips. I can sort of work all these in. There we go, there's two. Three, four, come on. Ah, there it goes. All right, so before we move along, we are gonna run a screw in because that is a pain in the butt. And one, oh, almost forgot about this. This one actually likes it to be open. Oh, yikes. All right. One end. Ah, there we go. Done. That's where that threading pays off. Looks in nice and smooth. All right, now to the back. That one's in. That one's in. They are all in. Okay. Put that there. all okay last two parts slide that in that in and we're done let's give it a try all right slide it forward locks seems to work let's load it up actually take the stand from the other one and let's pull the trigger slide it forward lock it up oh we lost the barrel speaking of things that are gonna need a drop of glue and then one, nicely done, locks back, two, three, I'm just going to do five on this for demonstration, four, and then for the fifth one, we are just going to, oh, that is going to need a little glue, and Click that into place. There we go. Oh, look at that. There's a little bit of play there. Actually, I'm going to have to adjust the 3D model a bit. I was adjusting this wheel here, and it looks like I got a little too enthusiastic. Anyway, let's give her a roll. Perfect. The 3D printed rubber band submachine gun, all ready to go. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, and if you want to see more like it, I'd much appreciate if you subscribed.